Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today we're going to talk about 4K gaming monitors and if they're ready for gaming or if gaming is ready for them. Now I recently got a 4K monitor uh, primarily for editing, but I had to test out 4K gaming on it because I have a computer that is capable of playing Battlefield at over 60 frames per second at 4K and other games uh, at over 60 frames per second. And I just had to try out 4K gaming for myself and figure out if there was an advantage to it or what the disadvantages were, or how far we are from 4K gaming becoming a mainstream reality. And if you're fortunate enough to own a 4K monitor, you can watch this YouTube video at 4K quality 60 frames per second and see how it looks for yourself. Now, first let's answer the newbie questions of 4K. How much more resolution is it than say 1080p, a fairly common gaming resolution nowadays? 1920 by 1080 is 1080p resolution. Pretty good, a lot better from what I used to be gaming at back in the day. And nowadays gaming at 1080p is very affordable. You can get a pretty good 1080p gaming monitor for not very much. So it's mainstream. Most gaming computers can support 1080p resolutions. Most games can support 1080p resolutions. 4K is kind of the new kid to the block. Now, how many more pixels are on screen when you game at 4K? Well, since this image right here is 4K, let's shrink it down and see what 1080p looks like in comparison. Here you can see that you can fit four 1080p images in one 4K image because 4K is double the distance on both the top and bottom resolution. So basically you're getting four times as many pixels on screen as you would with 1080p, which means you're gonna need almost, well, approximately, four times as much rendering power to render the exact same scene. And let me just say that the pixel density and image clarity is astounding. I mean, I've put hundreds of hours into Battlefield 4 and trying it out at 4K for the first time is kind of mind blowing on one aspect because you're just seeing so much more detail. The downside, however, is that it does require so much computing power to play at 4K that most people are not gonna be able to do it for quite some time. And in addition to that, they don't even have monitors yet that can support 4K resolution and over 60 Hertz refresh rate. In order to get higher refresh rates at 4K, you're gonna to need to use DisplayPort 1.3, which I think is technically out yet and they're still making hardware for it. And by the end of the year, we're supposedly going to have 120 hertz refresh rate 4K monitor. So it's going to be a while before we even have hardware that can support that kind of gaming. Now, what if you're already playing at 60 frames per second and you're thinking, you know what? I don't need over 60 hertz refresh rate monitors to play well. Well, in that case, uh, 4K gaming is probably all right for you right now. There is without question an advantage to have a pixel resolution advantage of your opponent. One, you're gonna be able to see more detail, which can be very helpful in games with lots of foliage and long distance combat. I was doing some target practice in Squad, which is all about spotting people out in bushes and behind trees and stuff at like 300 or 400 meters. And the pixel density allowed me to see things more clearly. Playing Battlefield on big foresty maps allows me to see things in the distance more clearly as well. However, when I sacrifice 60 frames per second or even more, since I generally play it with a monitor that can support 144 hertz refresh rate, I am actually losing a bit of information in terms of how many images I'm seeing per second and in a way that can make it more difficult to see things at further ranges. There is a huge advantage to playing with a higher refresh rate monitor. Whether or not you think that, um, it's pretty much factual information that higher refresh rate, higher frames per second is going to be hugely advantageous, especially in FPS games where you need to whip your camera around very quickly. It's probably not as big a deal in maybe RTS games or slower paced games, but in fast paced FPS games, you're absolutely gonna want as many frames per second as possible. And you could easily make an argument that if you were playing exclusively very slow paced milsim shooters, especially like Arma or Squad, where you're gonna be posted up on a hill for a while, scanning a horizon line with a scope, 4K might be more beneficial for that situation, but if you're running around constantly whipping your camera around and looking at different directions, you're definitely gonna favor a higher refresh rate monitor, which just isn't possible with 4K yet. Fortunately, there is a happy balance right now for visual fidelity and frame rate performance, and that's 1440p. 
You could call it 2.5K if you would like. It offers almost twice the pixel resolution of a 1080p monitor right now. It's not four times the pixel resolution that 4K offers, but it's still significantly better than 1080p resolution. And modern gaming monitors can support uh, 144 hertz refresh rates uh, combined with stuff like IPS displays as well. I've got a great Acer that does this and it just looks astounding. And it's pretty much the best you can do right now for both visual fidelity and gaming performance. However, the really good gaming monitors that support these refresh rates are quite new and quite expensive. So this is definitely an enthusiast product. And I wouldn't say it's mainstream yet. 1080p is still sort of the mainstream way to go, uh, which makes 4K even further off. Not only does it require an incredibly expensive monitor to run 1440p at 144 hertz, but 4K is gonna be even pricier than that and require an even pricier computer. So although we may in theory be getting monitors that can support this, by the end of the year, uh, having a computer that can run most games at that resolution and refresh rate is gonna be another story. So in theory, if you could play at 4K resolution with a high refresh rate, it would be hugely advantageous and beneficial uh, in all areas of gaming. However, uh, my philosophy is frame rate over resolution, pretty much if you can't get 120 frames per second, then you should consider lowering your resolution if you're more of a competitive gamer. If you don't really care about having a high frame rate, which I account to people who have just never really experienced it before, because I think once you go high frame rate, it's kind of hard to go back. Um, then you can game at 4K right now at 60 FPS. It is doable, but you have to have a monster PC and it's really just not affordable to 99% of the gaming market right now. If you are a super gaming enthusiast and you're also a bit competitive, then I think 1440p is the best possible resolution you can game at uh, competitively and efficiently. Anyway, that's where 4K gaming stands in early 2016. As always guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap signing off.